Hey guys, this is Gearhead the Man coming to you with everything Lego and this video pretty much is how to build a set and I don't, and when I say set I don't really mean like a Lego set I mean like a film set kinda like this I've gotten some questions on how I um, how I animate and there's really nothing to say about how I animate you just have to get good at it but in this video I will show you how to make a really good set Okay, before we even pick up a camera, you really have to make sure that your set's in order. There's definitely a couple of key elements to having a good set. The first one is, is your background good? No, not really. I can't remember the last time I saw big floating blinds in the middle of the sky. So, what you could do is, um, maybe if your walls are painted blue, mine are not, you could um, maybe set up a desk in front of in front of your blue walls or if you're doing if you're shooting from the floor do you do it in front of the uh, blue walls on the floor what I do is I do mine on a desk and since it's right in front of my windows I use this big huge piece of uh, uh, styrofoam it works really great you can't even tell because it, cause it's so subtle I, um, it's a great color nice blue you don't want it too deep of a blue because then it just it's kinda it kinda draws away from from what you're actually shooting, you want it to be subtle, but you want it to be good looking. And also, and also, if it's uh, if it's too dark, then it'll look like it's nighttime. You don't want that either, unless of course you're shooting at night. So I picked this up at um, Lowe's a long time ago. I really can't tell you what the price is. I have no idea. It was such a long time ago. But anyway, um, I just put this right behind my desk. It's pretty much there 24/7. I've gotten so used to it. So. Now you have a pretty good looking background. The second thing that you gotta ask yourself is the lighting good. Um, usually what people do is they just use the overhead lights that they have in the room already and um, you know that or they don't have them on at all and that just there's just no excuse for that. I don't know why people just can't turn some friggin lights on when they shoot but usually Overhead lights just don't really cut it, and heck, I have a bulb out right there anyway. Um, it, it causes a lot of problems. One, you can see my shadow. Um, unless the lights are in front of you, that could be a huge problem. If you move out of the way, it looks okay-ish, but you can still make it better. What I use is these two just desktop lamps. I kind of wish they were the same. That way I could get even lighting throughout my whole set because this one is a little bit powerful than this one and it lights up the set aw um, it awesomely it lights up the set and it makes it look great you can you just adjust them usually towards the front of the set it looks better it gets you more of an eating uh, even lighting eating lighting it's right there that looks about good Lighting is one of the is one of the things that I see screwed up the most on stop motion animations. It's really annoying. It, I mean, it's just really easy to fix. I mean, heck, maybe you only have one lamp. That that works too. I mean, just kind of have it centered more. I don't know. It's it's really best to just to just have two lamps. Um, I've had this lamp for a long time, so I really don't know where I got it or how much I got it for. But this one is fairly recent, cause um. I just got this one because I actually have three lamps in this room right now. I, I used to, I've i always used this for animating, and then I found that one that's on my nightstand in my uh, storage in the storage room in my basement a long time ago. So it was really annoying to have to keep bringing it over to the set and bringing it back every night. And most nights I did forget, so I just bought this this one right here from Walmart for about 13 bucks. To me, that's a really great price. It's about I'm not sure how good this bulb is, but it lights the set up really nicely. So if you if you get two of these, I mean 13 but that's only like $26. So to have good lighting, I'd say that's pretty worth it. Okay, so if you've done what I've done so far, then your set should have a great looking background and nice even lighting. So your set's looking awesome so far. And then this next tidbit that I'm going to point out it is kind of optional because I really have just kind of uh, just kind of not used it for the longest time. It really is good to have a good color of um, the ground. Luckily, this desk came with um, 
black on the top so it looks like a street which is really a great advantage but um if you're if you're shooting on carpet which I did for a really long time don't settle for those uh, road plates that they sell on on uh, lego.com I mean 14.99 just for two that's just way too much so if you really want to um, get the ground color ground cover looking really good what you can do is I have an example over here what you can do is let's see where is it just uh, buy some black construction paper it looks really good and they're pretty good sized sheets too so it should cover most of your set I'm not using any right now because like I said I do have a black desktop so I mean it looks pretty I mean it looks like a little bit purple that's just because um that's just because of the camera I'm shooting with but in real life I assure you it looks black um, you can get this in like a little um, kind of like a little book right back here I have a lot for some reason I have no idea why all sorts of different colors and then and then another benefit about getting uh, like a, this uh, this construction paper book is that you can also do uh, yellow for sand I've used that before I know there's a green one in here somewhere that you can use for grass but oh uh, white for snow that could come in handy so you know get creative with it don't be afraid to think outside the box and let your imagination shine okay guys so pretty much everything that I've told you if you take into consideration maybe change some stuff up just do it your way you should end up with a really great looking set um, it's really in all honesty it really isn't that hard if you just put kinda of some some pre-filming effort into it and it and you can have a pretty good looking movie just by a good set so I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video I hope you get something out of it I certainly have uh, enjoyed shooting it so um, until next time guys this is Gearhead the Man signing off rate comment and subscribe or do all three I'll see you guys later